The rivalry between darts players is more serious than you think, and in every match, there are moments when players humiliate each other. We will show you all these humiliations today. The humiliation at the end of the video, you won't believe, so keep watching. In 2018, Gary Anderson emerged as the clear winner of the Player Championship 3, impressing everyone with his amazing skills and making his opponents feel embarrassed. The tournament took place at the Barnsley Metrodome, and Anderson showed right from the beginning that he was serious about winning. In the final, Anderson faced off against Peter Wright. From his first turn at the dartboard, Anderson made a strong impression by scoring the highest possible points with a single throw. He quickly took the lead by breaking Wright's turn and made it difficult for his opponent to catch up. Anderson continued to dominate the final. He broke Wright's turn again, this time using only 12 darts, extending his lead to 3-0. With each leg, Anderson widened the gap between them. In the fifth leg, Anderson once again broke Wright's turn and sealed it with a composed finish, scoring 76 points. He held his nerve and won the sixth and final leg, achieving an amazing whitewash victory with a perfect 6-0 score. Before the match between Anderson and Peter Wright, he also humiliated Rob Cross with his performance. He achieved an impressive 6-0 victory with an incredible average score of 108.7. Anderson amazed the spectators with three perfect finishes, including an impressive 170 point score. When Peter Wright advanced to the quarterfinals of the William Hill World Darts Championship, he faced off against Andy Hamilton and won convincingly. Right from the beginning, he dominated the opening set, taking an early advantage with his throws. The difference in performance between the two players was noticeable, with Wright consistently performing better than his opponents by over 30 points. Hamilton tried to make a comeback in the second set, closing the gap between them. However, Wright took advantage of an opportunity to win the set when it was Hamilton's turn to throw increasing his lead to two set. His darts hit their targets with outstanding accuracy, making it difficult for Hamilton to keep up. As the match went on, Wright's dominance became more evident. In the end, Wright emerged as the winner, securing his place in the quarterfinals and leaving Hamilton in awe. When Michael Smith secured his place in the world final for the third time, he faced Gabriel Clemens in the semi-finals, and the match was a closely contested battle. However, Smith gained control in the fifth set and continued to dominate, winning the next two sets easily. Smith showed off his accuracy and power by hitting an impressive 19 maximum 180s throughout the match. Every dart he threw found its target, and Smith deservedly came out as the winner. In the other semi-final, Michael Van Gerwen delivered a flawless performance, effortlessly winning all six legs against Van der Berg. His dominance was evident as he achieved an average score of 108.28, and even completed a magnificent 170 checkout. Don't forget to hit the bullseye, so you never miss out on any of our amazing videos. At the Austrian Darts Open, Josh Rock achieved a surprising victory over Michael Van Gerwen. Rock displayed impressive skills, while Van Gerwen struggled to find his usual form. From the beginning, Rock took the lead by breaking Van Gerwen's throw and winning the first leg. He continued to perform well, hitting his targets consistently and extending his lead to 2-0 with a solid 13 dart leg. As the match progressed, Van Gerwen became visibly frustrated. Despite Van Gerwen's reputation as a strong scorer, Rock's accuracy was evident. He consistently hit double 20, while Van Gerwen struggled with his aim. Rock's dominance became clear, as the score quickly reached 5-0 in his favour. Although Van Gerwen had opportunities to catch up, he repeatedly missed crucial doubles. In contrast, Rock remained calm, hitting double 20 to secure a confident 6-0 victory, making Van Gerwen shocked. Michael Van Gerwen delivered a remarkable performance, leaving Phil Taylor humiliated with a resounding 7-0 victory on the opening night of the Premier League at the Echo Arena. Right from the start, Van Gerwen asserted his superiority, taking the first leg while Taylor struggled to find his form with his new darts. The early advantage set the tone for the entire match. Van Gerwen maintained control throughout the game, then a stunning 121 checkout on the bullseye extended his lead to three legs leaving Taylor in a state of disarray. Despite Taylor's efforts to mount a comeback, Van Gerwen hindered his every attempt. Taylor's impressive 140 scores in the fourth leg couldn't compensate for his missed opportunities at double 12, allowing Van Gerwen to seize the opportunity. He finished the leg in just 14 darts on double eight. As the match progressed, the gap between the players only widened. Van Gerwen broke Taylor's throw yet again, leaving him vulnerable. A clinical finish of 81, completed with a confident double 16, added to Taylor's frustration. Even when Taylor managed a desperate 180 in the following leg, Van Gerwen remained unaffected. 
he hit his mark on tops, securing a commanding 6-0 lead that cast doubt on Taylor's once illustrious career. Yet Van Gomen wasn't satisfied with merely winning. He aimed to assert his dominance clearly. Starting the final leg, he matched Taylor's earlier feats with a resounding 180. The final blow was struck as the Dutch Dynamo dealt a crushing blow to Taylor's pride, completing the first ever Premier League whitewash of the legendary darts player. Chris Doby delivered a masterful performance that left Michael Van Gerwen feeling a bit humiliated. Becoming the first player in Premier League history to claim a whitewash victory over the formidable Van Gerwen, Doby left no doubt about his dominance on that unforgettable night in Nottingham. Fresh off a thrilling quarter-final win against world champion Michael Smith, Doby carried his momentum into the match against Van Gerwen. Displaying exceptional composure, Doby's performance was nothing short of humiliating for his esteemed opponent. With an astonishing average of 101.33, Doby unleashed a barrage of relentless attacks, including four remarkable 180s and two checkouts exceeding 100. He effortlessly executed six out of nine attempts at doubles. Van Gerwen, who had been on an impressive 10-match winning streak in the competition, including a dominant 6-1 triumph over Peter Wright in the quarterfinals, was expected to continue his reign of dominance. However, Van Gerwen's respectable average of 100 his night turned upside down. His inability to convert a single dart at a double in legs three, four, and five only added to his frustration, leading Chris a whitewash win against him. Johnny Clayton left his opponent Danny Van Tripp humiliated on the dartboard. The PDC World Darts Championship witnessed a one-sided affair as the ferret unleashed a masterclass performance, inflicting a resounding whitewash defeat upon Van Tripp in the second round. His darting prowess was on full display as he effortlessly showcased his superiority throughout the match. He maintained an astounding average of 99.6, leaving no room for Van Tripp to catch a breath. He relentlessly hammered in five maximum 180s, each one leading to uneasiness of Danny. From the very first set, it was evident that Clayton had in no intentions of showing mercy. He seized an early break with a clinical 50 checkout on double 16, immediately establishing his authority. Despite Van Tripp momentarily finding his footing, the momentary glimmer of hope was swiftly extinguished as Clayton sealed the set with a composed 74 checkout. His struggles only worsened in the following sets as Clayton's superiority intensified. A remarkable 180, followed by an 84 checkout, set the tone for the second set, with the ferret stamping its authority with every throw. Van Tripp's spirits dwindled further as Clayton effortlessly executed a stunning 98 checkout, culminating in an 11 dart leg. The set was then sealed with a composed 78 checkout. As the match progressed, it became increasingly apparent that Van Tripp's attempts to mount a comeback were in vain. Despite managing to hold off a few legs, Van Tripp's efforts were overshadowed by Clayton's performance. Every missed opportunity and missed thrown dart only added to Van Tripp's misery, while Clayton maintained his composure, knowing victory was in his grasp. In the end, there was no escape for Van Tripp. With a double four finish, Clayton leveled the score at 1-1. From there on, it was a mere formality, as Clayton continued his onslaught, hitting double 20 to seal the match in a resounding whitewash victory. Don't forget to hit the bullseye, so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos.